Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, you know, uh, environmental sustainability is a huge priority for uh, Bristol Community College. And uh, we're very proud of the project, uh, of all of the, our activities uh, at Bristol Community College that uh, deal with sustainability. And certainly the activity that are housed right here uh, on this uh, beautiful uh, property that we have. Um, I wanted to say that uh, we have uh, at Bristol Community College, I think it's the only one in the state, we have an institute for sustainability and post-carbon education. And uh, this continues uh, the great work that, uh, that all of our BCC family uh, does about uh, uh, sustainability. Uh, the, uh, that's, a, that's a kind of a catch-all word that uh, covers all the green job training and uh, uh, conservation and uh, utilities. Uh, uh, just to show you uh, uh, some of the dimensions of, that we have, uh, we, um, up, at the, up at the campus at, uh, on Ellsbury Street, we were able to save 46 percent, 46 percent of uh, our water, uh, wastewater and consumption, uh, and 25 percent of our utilities. Uh, so uh, I think most of it is uh, just turning our attention to the, to the problem, uh, and it is a problem. Uh, so the more we think about it, the more ideas uh, that will come up. Um, I'm very... Uh, very pleased to have this open house and uh, yet another uh, way that we can provide weatherization training. Uh, and I, I invite you, I wanted to uh, introduce just quickly our three instructors, because they're, they're, they're very important in this whole project and others I'll be introducing, but Joe Riley and my, Mike Josephette and uh, Mike Pulaski. Uh, the three uh, instructors are here somewhere. If you'd raise your hands, there they go. And uh, they are going to be available at the end. We're going to have some refreshments, but um, after that, if you'd like a little uh, demonstration or a little tour of what we have here uh, to show you some of the kind of training that, that, that is going on. I also want to, uh, before we go any further, I want to thank uh, Anthony Cadero and Larry Cuda and Alan McCumber uh, for allowing us to use this space uh, at uh, highly reduced rates. I can guarantee you that. Uh, and they've been very generous. Uh, uh, I think I, I told uh, Julia Gold, our director, we can't go beyond a certain pole line, and I think she's far exceeded that. But, and we're still pushing, uh, but uh, it's wonderful. So Alan and Larry and Tony are very appreciative of all you've done for us. I uh, want to just also quickly have her uh, raise her hand, if she would, um, uh, Julia Gold, who is directing this uh, uh, project for us, Julia, at BCC. And, we have, it, uh, this is part of a consortium that really goes statewide, uh, and we're very uh, grateful to the uh, Green Energy uh, for its uh, help uh, in, in making available grant resources for this, uh, for this great project. Um, some of the uh, statewide uh, uh, partners are here today, uh, uh, and I thank them for coming to this, uh, this event. Uh, we have uh, uh, people from Bunker Hill Community College, from Roxbury Community College, from Mass Bay Community College, from Bridgewater State University, and uh, we're very proud to uh, play uh, in, this, uh, in this great consortium uh, for green training. We also are partners with Massasoit Community College and uh, Cape Cod Community College, and of course the university, University of uh, Massachusetts at Dartmouth. Uh, sustainability, as I mentioned, is very important at uh, BCC. The Green Center, uh, we have a vision for continuing this training, expanding it, and moving out into all of these poll roles as we can uh, because of the need that is out there in the community, and uh, we're very, uh, very proud of that. Um, if I could introduce just a few more people for you, um, uh, Senator Joan Menard is here and gracing us with her presence. Senator Joan Menard, thank you. Uh, Representative Dave Sullivan, Representative David Sullivan is here. Pedro Amaral is here representing uh, newly elected Senator Michael Rodriguez. Pedro? Yeah, there he is. And Patrick Norton. Patrick Norton is here representing Congressman uh, Jim McGovern, James McGovern. There's Patrick. <clears throat> and I don't want you to think I forgot him, but uh, we'll be hearing more from uh, Mayor Will Flanagan. Mayor Will Flanagan is here as well. 
Mayor Scott Lang uh, sends his uh, warmest greetings from uh, New Bedford uh, because we are in partnership with New Bedford as well. Um, I would like now uh, to introduce uh, to you, uh, we just have a very short program, uh, uh, but I would like to introduce uh, someone uh, who is uh, you know, primarily responsible for the funding and we just couldn't have uh, uh, undertaken such a vast project without her uh, great assistance. And uh, Mary Beth Campbell is the Workforce Development Program Director at the Mass Clean Energy Center. Um, and this is the sole purpose uh, state authority of its kind in the nation that works comprehen comprehensively to develop this clean energy sector of our economy. Uh, the Mass Clean Energy Center is the funder of this statewide Mass Green Initiative. So it's my honor to introduce to you Mary Beth Campbell. Mary Beth. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for coming. I'll be economical in my words, so I'll we'll only be here for a couple hours. Um, this is really great to have a turnout like this because this is really uh, an, a real example of what collaboration does and real partnership does. In Bristol Community College, in the many community colleges involved in this have been real stewards in bringing green workforce training to Massachusetts. So I really want to thank especially President Sprague for taking on this initiative and being at the forefront at the cutting edge and especially thank Carmen and Julia for all their hard work. It hasn't been easy. I've been working on this since December 10th, 2008. So this is really exciting to be here today and see this great uh, facility behind us. So this is really what we're trying to strive here to do in Massachusetts and complementing all the legs of the stool and what makes Massachusetts Massachusetts really nation leading in terms of clean energy. Uh, we're second in the nation in our clean energy policies. We like to say we're first in the nation east of California. Uh, so this is really huge in terms of our community college system making us help, uh, helping us be stewards in the nation in terms of clean energy. So the workforce, the nimbleness of our workforce is really important to us in making sure that we're getting quality work done in energy efficiency, making sure that, that we're getting businesses up and running in Massachusetts to create jobs and hire people. And the Mass Green Initiative and what Bristol Community College is doing here with its partners are really doing high quality comprehensive training here with great leaders and Mike and Mike and Joe and our instructors. They've been real stewards as well in taking on this extra work for themselves and making sure that the people we train are trained well and comprehensively. So this is a big, big deal today for us. So thank you also to the Center for Ecological Technology. We have Ethan, Stan, and George here. They did a ton of work making sure that these props are standardized and developing the curriculum. They've been really integral also with our partner Conservation Services Group. And with their work and complement on the workforce side and what the Patrick administration has done in terms of bringing Massachusetts as a nation leader in energy efficiency and our utility partners making sure that we're all Everyone here goes home today and calls Mass Save for an audit later, right? Uh, this is really big. The, the workforce piece is a great complement to what we're doing in Massachusetts in terms of supporting energy efficiency investment. So, I, like I said, I will be brief and economical. Uh, and just want to thank you all for coming here. And I hope you all take a chance to take the tour because it's pretty, there's nothing like this in terms of what's happening in, uh, in workforce training and energy efficiency. This is really nation leading here. So we say it and we talk it and we walk it and this is proof here today. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mary Beth. It's great to hear about Bristol being uh, the cutting edge uh, of a, yet another initiative. Uh, it is always dangerous to start uh, you know, recognizing, I would like to recognize a couple of groups that are here and uh, uh, Diamond uh, Vocational uh, Regional School is here and we do partnerships with uh, Diamond. Um, uh, also from Diamond is uh, one of our trustees, Deborah Kenny, and thank you Deborah, for coming. Uh, the Chamber, uh, the Chamber is uh, four square behind these kinds of activities and job development and Rob, I thank you for coming as well. Uh, many of you uh, represent uh, uh, constituents uh, who will benefit from this training and, uh, and of course, the uh, overarching uh, uh, purpose of uh, job development and workforce development, and that's uh, something, uh, a major priority at Bristol Community College. And it's a major priority of our next speaker as well, and it's my honor uh, uh, to introduce him. Uh, there has been no one uh, that has been more uh, supportive and, uh, and active in uh, pushing uh, the uh, workforce development mission uh, of the city and uh, we are uh, in supporting uh, Bristol Community College as well and we are very proud uh, to have this close association and it's my honor to introduce to you now the mayor of Fall River, Mayor Will Flanagan. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Thank you very much, President Sprager, and it is a uh, true honor to be with all of you here today. And I want to begin by uh, also recognizing and thanking Tony Cadero, Larry Kudo, and Alan Maycomer for making an investment here in the city of Fall River. You have three businessmen who could have taken their money and invested it anywhere in this Commonwealth or anywhere throughout this nation. And what they decided to do was to invest it right here in this great city and invest it in our city's waterfront. So I just want to take an opportunity to recognize you three and saying thank you for making this investment here in our city. And also want to recognize and thank uh, Bristol Community College for making an investment here. And what's so special uh, to be in this particular building, that this is the former site of uh, Quaker uh, textile manufacturing. And to be in the site of a former textile mill, and now to be talking about green technology, shows the type of transformation that this city has taken. And it reminds me of a project that was started uh, probably over uh, a decade and a half ago on our Southwood Tupper where you once had standing globe mills. And if you drive by that site today, it's the home of uh, the Advanced uh, Technology Manufacturing Center and Meditech and hopefully the home of other projects that are gonna be in biotechnology and life science. And as we stand here today, we're in a building that used to have textile machines running 24 hours a day and seven days a week. But today we're making a commitment to green technology and in types of green jobs that the folks that come here will receive the training and education in. In weatherproofing homes, uh, we have an opportunity to train a workforce uh, that will then go out into the field and make a living. And when we have a city like Fall River, which struggles with its unemployment rates, uh, to have workforce training here in our city shows the commitment that we are making to our workforce so that individuals who engage in this type of trade have an opportunity to continue to better their skills, to improve their life, and to continue to make a living for their family. So as the mayor of Fall River, it gives me great pride to be a part of this announcement today, to thank the business community, to thank the educational uh, community, to thank Mass Clean Energy for being on board and being a partner here today. And Bristol Community College is one of four community colleges across this Commonwealth to have such a project and to receive the funding to work such a project. And it speaks volumes of the work that Bristol Community College is accomplishing here in the greater Fall River area. So this is a very uplifting message for our city to have green technology, to promote green technology, and to train a workforce that will then go out into the field and make a living off their education. So I want to thank all the partners involved here today. And as the mayor of Fall River, thank you. And I look forward to seeing this partnership continue to grow and prosper. Thank you all. I should add another city official is here, Lynn Creamer, on the um, uh, Economic Development Office. Uh, Lynn, there she is. Thank you, Lynn. And uh, I mentioned Lynn and, uh, and the mayor uh, because of their great support uh, for uh, Bristol Community College and our effort to continue, our continuing efforts to promote uh, workforce development and raise the levels of education in the, uh, in the region. And those are high priorities for, uh, for the mayor. Um, well, that uh, pretty much brings us to an end. I wanted to uh, once again thank um, Anthony Cadero and Larry Cuda and uh, Alan McCumber for allow, uh, being such gracious uh, landlords for us. And uh, uh, it's uh, great to hear the mayor speak about this wonderful old lady building coming to life again and seeing uh, uh, the Grand Dame right, coming back to life. And uh, we're very proud of our work here. I would like to also introduce, just quickly too, I introduced Julia, I wanted to introduce Dean Carmen Aguiar, who is the head of our Center for Workforce and Economic uh, Education. There's Carmen, and uh, Julia and Carmen work closely together, as does John Long and um, Margarita Geddes, who is also in our center, and they're here. So, it's coming time for a ribbon cutting, uh, if you would uh, help us, uh, and we have, uh, 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 we have uh, ref refreshments for you afterwards. I don't want to stand between you and the refreshments. Uh, just a snip and we'll be done. But I also wanted to point out again, uh, the instructors, Joe Riley, Mike Josephak, and Mike Plasky will be available to kind of 
walk you around what some of these activities are and what the training is that is being done here. And we continue uh, to hope that it will move on uh, ahead for uh, a long time. Thank you very much for coming, and uh, please join us now in this celebration. Thank you.